Somebody stole my catalytic converter. Unbelievable. Street parking. Now it's time to install that catalytic converter shield underneath. Cool. 40 feet of steel cable, adapters for different size pipes. That's what it's gonna look like when it's all finished. And then big clamps, oh boy. Inside of the box for the cat clamp, you'll get your installation instructions. They're pretty detailed and they are actually really convenient. Um, a warranty card here, which tells you that the uh, company that owns cat clamp, JamCJ, will warranty this if uh, it is properly installed and your catalytic converter still gets stolen. They won't cover the cost of the cat, just the cost of the cat clamp. Speaking of cost of cat clamp, on their website, the standard cat clamp starts at $160. You can go for the max, which um, I'm not sure how this one's a little bit different, but might just be bigger. But speaking of bigger, there's also the specific applications for medium duty, and then also um, right here's medium duty, 340 to almost $700, and then going on to commercial diesel engines. I don't know what the diesel cats are like or if there's a particular filter on those diesels but it must be a very expensive part if protecting it's going to cost you upwards of 700 900 dollars ouch so thankfully we just have a small car here but still a very pricey part if we want to protect it so from them you can pay 160 amazon's got it for 160 but you pay you know 50 dollars in shipping because last year california started charging sales tax on online transactions for certain companies over a threshold i ended up uh, thankfully finding the cheapest price through autoaccessoriesgarage.com and this is not a promotion I'm just letting you know where I shopped because they had a 20% off new customer discount which basically covered the price of taxes and they had a free shipping for orders over 150 so I paid 167 for my cat clamp and the tax was $13 free shipping 180 bucks delivered to me which was really great last but not least it does come with two reverse cling stickers, which you can apply on the inside of your windows to stop anybody who, you know, starts poking around and if they want to see whether or not you've got protection on your cat. I, I've got really dark tint, so I won't be able to use these, but they're going to go in my sticker box, and I love stickers. Okay, back to installation. Excuse the leaf blower, but a couple of notes. First of all, that's a lot of cable. 40 feet underneath, it's difficult to get it in and around. This is going to take a little bit longer than I thought. Second note is... Originally, when the cats were cut off, it was cut off at the first cat, right at the uh, downpipe, onto the second cat. The way that it sits right now, if I just secure it around the rear cat, as you see the clamps here, uh, there's really not much stopping them from just wiggling their blade around to cat number one and uh, cutting that off. So I would need to remove this front clamp and actually place it all the way up to the very beginning portion there. Better safe than sorry, because, you know, you'd hate to go through all this effort and still have one cat cut off. It's a little tricky wrestling uh, underneath the car with this 40-foot cable, but it's doable, as you can see here, even in a driveway. Ideally, you'd want the car up on a lift, but it's not so bad. Getting the cables through the holes in the clamps, it's a little tricky at first, but once you get it back through the second time, it kind of opens up the rest of the holes because the adapter plate does not keep falling and shutting the passageway. The adapter plate here goes down to one and three quarters, but I think some of my pipe is one and a half inch, but it's still clamped around sufficiently after everything was said and done with those security bits. Here is the final installation. It's gonna be um, very difficult for somebody to try to chop it off. The reason I couldn't get this clamp here, further up uh, toward the front catalytic converter, there's no room to clear the steering rack when you put the clamp in place. Look how big those clamps are, yeah. Okay, so it wraps around the sway bar quite a bit. Let me show you the front here. And just as a hopeful deterrent on the front, it does wrap around a little bit at the front catalytic converter. So whoever, you know, tries to get a sawzall in through here will cut it, but then they'll go, oh, I gotta fight these cables. So ideally they just wanna go on to the next easy target. So at best it's an inconvenience. They are touching a little bit on the O2 sensor. We'll see if that becomes an issue over time. That thing's got a warranty anyway. And uh, got it wrapped up on the back side there because there's a lot of extra cable. So I managed to make use of all of the, what, 40 feet or so that it comes with. And uh, again, not difficult to cut through all that stuff, but a good inconvenience. Uh, furthermore, 
I put some tension up here on the back side of the mounts. You know, you can cut the mounts, you can cut the muffler, but you still can't relieve the tension on those because those cables run and have tension with the sway bar, and the sway bar is going to be really difficult to cut. By that time, all the neighbors will have woken up and been like, who's cutting all this stuff out here? So the real test right now is going to be how does the car sound? Are there going to be any unnatural rattles? And if so, how can I fix those? So I'm going to turn the engine on, poke my head under here, have a listen, and uh, make some adjustments as necessary. Right now, I've only used one zip tie, and that is right here at the very end where everything meets up, and the extra cable I put in at the center of the junction there. All right, here goes. Any second now. Okay, well, um, at a start, at a stop, it's, I mean, with the engine running, it's fine. nice and tight. Um, I guess we'll just go for a drive and see how that goes. Otherwise, she's all ready to hit the road. All right, thank you so much for watching. And uh, turns out my exhaust leak is actually at the donut at the very front of the exhaust system. I thought it was going to be back here where the cat meets the muffler, but nope. Very good. Well, I hope that was informative. And, uh, you know, if you had your catalytic converter stolen, I'm sorry. That's Believe me, I know your pain. It can be thousands of dollars to repair and replace, um, especially if you live in a place like California. I'm glad now that I have a safe and anti-theft car. Hit the thumbs up, give me uh, the like so we can help other people out there see this video and um, help them out if they have the same issue.